More Coloradans died of drug overdoses last year than at any other time. New numbers from the State Department of Health show we lost 1,881 Coloradans to overdoses last year. It's more than double the number in 2016 when the state reported 912 overdose deaths. The two deadliest drugs, bet you could guess, was fentanyl and meth. Fentanyl killed 912 people. Meth overdoses killed 749 Coloradans. The opposite of addiction is community. That's what the recovery community tells us, but they say that fact is not always recognized and it's a missed opportunity to help people. Anusha Roy takes us inside the ER at Swedish. The look at how that's changing. When Laura Allum is called by social workers in the ER, she walks into the room but does not see a patient. I see me. Allum is a recovery support specialist in recovery herself. I was struggling with alcohol for over 20 years. Um, you know, started in high school, it made me feel different, it made me feel good. It wasn't a straightforward path, but one that led her to peer coaching. I go into the room, I find a chair, I sit down, and you know, I don't talk at them or over them. <laughs> We're face to face and I introduce uh, Advocates for Recovery. That stigma really doesn't have any place in their treatment. ER doctor Don Stater, who helped launch the program, said it's been missing within medical treatment since long-term recovery requires a lot of overhauling long after a patient is released. They don't have to go back and hang out with the same individuals who may be using drugs around them and put their recovery at risk, like hiking, like getting together for barbecues, like watching football, all the stuff that we love, but without substances. I think the past, um, several years that we've actually looked toward that recovery community and identified themselves them as essential in recovery. Piecing it together isn't necessarily easy. It's difficult to send people to a community that is willing to accept them with open arms, that is willing to understand and approach that person with grace. But now that the connection has been made at Swedish and that community is waiting, there's hope, there's joy. Dr. Stater knows it's working based off of who is missing in the ER. Multiple examples of patients who were here very, very frequently that now are in sustained recovery, that are engaged with advocates for recovery, uh, Laura's group, and are living amazing lives in recovery. So far, around 500 people have been reached over the last two plus years and followed up with multiple times. But there really isn't good data of exactly how many people have stayed in recovery because that's really hard data to track. There are some other hospitals with similar programs, but Dr. Stater would like to see things expand from there. But Kyle, you have to include cost and has to be considered in all of this and how it's being worked into budgets to hire peer specialists. I mean, we've talked on this show about how much a hospital's budget can vary depending on where they are and what kind of funding they're getting. Yep, we should just say here, full disclosure, last November, nine news viewers through Word of Thanks uh, raised money specifically mm -hmm. to, with the idea of supporting that uh, peer recovery program at Swedish and expanding it to other hospitals. You would hope, Anusha, that as, um, as issues of addiction morph and change in our community, that there would be significant changes in terms of recovery and treatment and that kind of thing. Yeah, I would say that the entire time I've actually been talking about this topic on this show. I've actually been talking to Dr. Stater about it as well. And if you think about the individual times we've talked about new naloxone programs where you're getting it, if you step back and look at big picture, that was a big change in this state. There's been a lot of work too about getting more treatment, but there's a long way to go. But even with all of the stories that I have done about this, we haven't really talked about the recovery community as much. And that is where a lot of experts are hoping to shore up so that that is going to be that third pillar that really helps people. Yep, hope, hope the operative mm -hmm. word. Anusha, thank you.